And here we are at qualification match number five. We already have three, two cubes and a cone for Red Alliance over in Blue Alliance. Looks like we've got one cube from my vantage point. However, it looks like Blue Alliance is going to get that, ch that docked and charge bonus from the charge platform. And now it's the start of the, the teleop portion of the match. Lots of swerve drive robots r rolling around the, the match here. 1432, very carefully picking up that cone, uh, making sure that they can score it. Meanwhile, 4060 already scoring another cube into the cooperation zone in the middle of their power grid. For many of these teams, they're hoping to make it to the district championships over in Cheney, Washington. They're looking to get those ranking points, and one way to get that is to get at least five links in their power grid. However, if both teams complete a link in the cooperation zone, they only need to get four to get that ranking point. Looks like Team 997 Spartan Robotics, they have already put themselves on their charge platform, waiting for the end game, even with 10 seconds before the end game starts. Meanwhile, Team 4060 is trying to score one more piece of their cubes into their power zone. They do have quite a few cubes and cones in their grid. Now it's time to try and score some last points on that charge platform. Hard collision for Team 4060, but it looks like they're good. Red Alliance gonna try and get three robots on their charge platform. They need to get it activated. They want some bonus points. Meanwhile, Blue Alliance content with the two robots. They're already activated. And there we go. We've got three robots on that charge platform for Red Alliance. And for the first time today, Blue Alliance is going to take this qualification match with 99 points and three ranking points. Red Alliance did walk away with one for themselves.